Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy LMC back again with another video and today we're going to be going over Dimitri Payet's Inform card. Now guys, before I do, I just want to mention to you guys, if you are looking at getting Dimitri Payet in your squad right now, I strongly recommend you getting him ASAP due to the fact you know, he's only been in packs for the early access and the EA access. So strongly recommend you guys getting him because I wouldn't want you guys paying a hefty price tag in the near future. But let's just jump straight into it. So as you can see up on the screen, we've got the lovely new Inform card. Now, I love the new dynamic photos. I love it how it's just slightly enlarged than last year. He's doing the ultimate shush like my brother said. And it's fantastic when he scores a goal because the card will come out on the ground and he's still shushing. So it's fantastic. But let's just get jump straight into his stats. So obviously the base stats are 75 pace, 81 shot, 88 passing, 87 dribbling with 70 physical. Now I play a maestro card on him. Now it really depends on what you want him to do for you. So obviously I really want him to be predominantly a passer and a shooter. Predominantly really a passer and obviously it brings up his dribbling as well. So that's always a plus. So he's obviously um, 5 foot 9, high low work rates, 4 star, 4 star. Bought him for 54 and a half K. If you can basically get him around for 45 to 55 K, it'd be an absolute snapper. You know, to be fair guys, if you can get you know him for roughly around maybe even 60k, I still think you know it's really decent price. Obviously, he's played me 23 games and he's got me 14 goals and 11 assists, so it all tallies up to be very, very nice considering this game is very hard to score goals at the moment. So we'll get you know we'll go over that a little bit into detail later. But those are the stats at the moment. Now, obviously, base stats are absolutely fantastic with the main standout base stats. Obviously, he's dribbling, you know, 88 dribbling, 92 ball control, 81 balance, 80 agility, and 83 composure. His passing is phenomenal, guys. Like, I can't stress to you guys enough. If you are looking at a passer, Payet is your main man. He's got 90 vision, which you'll see in the clips very shortly. He's got 90 crossing, so he's great on corners. He's got 86 short pass, 82 long pass, 93 curve, and 86 free kick accuracy. If you've seen him in real life, guys, he's an absolute beast at taking free kicks. He's a gem to watch. I strongly recommend jumping on YouTube if you've never seen him watch before. But seen him play, he's, oh, he's phenomenal, guys. Like He is an absolute gem. But obviously, he's got 85 long shots as well. If you've seen him, you know, he scores some absolute bangers in real life as well. He's got 82 shot power, and he's also got 77 pens. So if you need someone to take pens as well. So that's the team that we're playing him in at the moment. I do change to a 4-2-3-1 narrow as, as well. Same, basically the same score as what, you, what I showed you guys a few days ago with the Lacazette one. But I've played him in a 4-3-3 a few times already. He's fantastic in that position. Only thing being is that his stamina sort of decreases a little bit. But as you can tell, you can have a look. Do what you need to do. He's fantastic, but let's just jump into him now. Now, obviously, you know, last year I wasn't really a fan of Dimitri Payet. Um, I don't know why, he just didn't feel like he was that great last year. But this year he feels absolutely phenomenal. It's definitely from the fact that his passing is phenomenal. Now, obviously he's not that, you know, that strong. So if you are looking at getting a player in your team to, you know, you know, body off, you know, the defenders and everything. Payet's probably not your main man, especially because a lot of the go-tos at the moment is your Davidson Sanchez and your Eric Baez. So a lot, you're going to be coming up against teams like that. And to be honest, you want to wriggle away from them. So that's probably the only negative thing. But other than that, he's an absolute gem. Now, I, I think the bet, like what I said before, his passing is probably his best attribute. You can ping it across the halfway across the pitch you can ping it from up you know from the narrow side of it you know his short passing is great for techers so if you're a person who likes to play one touch you'll see a couple of clips in there with the one touch he's beautiful for that and he's also really good for long range hits so obviously his stats really did show it so you guys he's great on corners as well like he's a phenomenal player like he can play just about anything for you guys I but I think the main thing that you guys should do is play him at a central attacking midfielder and nothing really less uh, if you really want to play him as a center mid I strongly recommend you using him as an outside center mid because playing him in the in a central center mid he's gonna get caught out he's not really that great at defending he's good at chase downs don't get me wrong but other than that, he's really not the greatest asset to have defensively. But if you if you really want to get Dimitri Payet, I strongly get strongly recommend you getting him now. He's an absolute gem. He's he's gonna be sick. I don't don't be surprised if he's gonna get another inform. He's already banging off this year. I think he's 
already got like four goals and he's already got three assists already for the season as well. So I, I know it's early, but I strongly think he's going to be getting the tots already. But nonetheless, guys, that is Dimitri Payet. If you have any questions for me, let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I am. I've always got my phone on me and I'm always willing to help. But if you have enjoyed today's video, guys, please give it a like. Please do subscribe and I shall see you guys on the next video. Peace out.